guys, Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. Let me turn this down. Copyright, man, is such a big problem with YouTube. <laughs> Copyright will screw you in the <laughs> if you're not careful. So today is going to be the first bench session, the first chest dominant session with the new bench. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Getting there. <sighs> All right, people, relax, 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 man. New bench, feeling good, feeling strong. 110 kilos, just down. Only one rep, little bit of bounce, it's all good. Just seeing where we're at, I'm feeling freaking good. I feel like at the minute, with the right mindset, I can hit a PB one way or another every single session. 110 down, I'm gonna take a couple of minutes rest, I'm gonna take it easy. All time PR on the bench is 112.5 kilos. Challenge accepted. 60, 100, 110, 115. Let's go. Not even close! No, that's embarrassing. What could you pass me? All night. 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 Uh, I hit 110, I did a set of 90 before. I feel like if I'd have gone for 112, I'd have got it, but you know, just not today. That is just how it is. So what we're gonna do now, um, to be honest, uh, with the new bench, I, I just wanted to, you know, I, I wanted to hit a PB, but just, hey, not today. I guess we hit a new PB 110 at this weight, but you know, I wanted to hit 115. Not to be, it'll be next week, or the week after, or the week after, or in six months time, who knows? So, for the rest of today's session, we are gonna be dropping the weight, focusing on the squeeze, focusing on the contraction, that time under tension, all of that crap. <laughs> We're gonna be um, just having a fun session today, guys. It is a push day, and so, let the games commence. <laughs> So one thing that you guys probably won't have noticed is the width of my bench press. If you go back to around about a year ago now where I first hit the 100 kg bench press, that was sort of December last year, right? Since then, my bench hasn't really gone anywhere. I did an entire video, go and check it out. It's further down in the channel, maybe six or seven videos ago now. My bench press progression, blah, 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 that one. Go and check that out. You will see in that video that my bench press grip has actually gotten a lot wider 
very, very gradually. And in recent weeks, since I've improved my shoulder mobility, etc., etc., I have actually widened my bench press grip dramatically. The reason for that is because a massive goal of mine is to actually build up my chest. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you will know that I am very shoulders and triceps dominant, and in movements like the bench press and well, you know everything else that involves chest and triceps, my shoulders tend to take over, and that is a you know fine in terms of moving a bit more weight, and you know it's good for the ego, but in terms of building up my chest long term, not ideal. Okay, so my bench press grip when I hit the hundred for the first time, my pinky would be around about. Here. My hands were only around about here. I had literally a two centimeter gap between where the ridge started and where my thumb was. So this teeny little gap was all I had, which meant that the bench press as a whole, bearing in mind this would have been flat rather than inclined, but the bench press as a whole would have been a lot more shoulder dominant and tricep dominant, as opposed to putting the emphasis and the strain on the chest. Now, the bench press that you guys have just seen, I have about a two centimeter gap between the ring and my hand. So the ring and my pinky, I had this much space here. That's all it was. So instead of this much space here, my hands are now all the way out here, which brings a lot more emphasis, a lot more tension on the chest, which does mean, and did mean for a long time actually, that I had to reduce the amount of weight that I was benching. However, in terms of long-term chest development, this is the best way forwards, okay? It's like pause, Boom, down, pause, boom. And to be honest, it just feels a lot more natural now. When I used to, used to try and go wide, the reason I actually started going more narrow with my bench press in the first place is purely because I felt tension in my shoulders. I felt tension in my, it, it just did not feel right. It didn't feel good at all. And so that mentally really, really affected me when it came to benching flat bench in particular, more so flat than, than incline. So slowly but surely, over the last few weeks in particular, I have been gradually widening my bench press grip to the point where maybe two or three weeks ago, it was around about here, okay? But now, it's around about here. A few centimeters will make a massive difference in terms of emphasis on the chest, and moving forwards, you know, I, I need to build my chest up to catch up with my shoulders and stuff. So the plan moving forwards will be to smash the numbers that I've already hit and more with a wider bench press grip. So it's actually funny, you know, that video that I posted, the 100 kg um, for the first time when I hit 100 kg, the comment section is full and I mean full of, Liam, widen your grip and you'll be able to bench more, blah, 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 blah. widen your grip and you will be rewarded with pounds is one that has kind of uh, stood out in my mind. Uh, and since then, you know, I have been trying to do it, but only really in recent weeks and recent months have I actually been able to do it from a physiological standpoint, you know? Mobility-wise, it just fell off. But now, we're a lot better, and I'm feeling good, even if I did fail on two one-run matches today. <laughs> Over the next few weeks, and the next few months in particular, let's say, let's say six months. Si over the next six months, I want to develop my chest more so than ever before. I would like to utilize the things that I now have available to me, like a lower bench, like the shoulder mobility for a wider bench, like the other accessories that we can include into my workouts. Clever things like supersets, like drop sets, just increasing the volume, increasing the, the, the density of the muscle over the next few months is a long-term goal. And it's a new thing that's kind of come about as I've started this dieting phase. I have lost a little bit of weight and immediately I can tell that it's still a lacking point. I already knew, but then in comparison to how much my shoulders have grown over this past bulking phase, my chest is definitely something that has to, to catch up. And so that is a long-term goal and how I'm going to be doing that is using 
the wider grip bench press, is using the chest flies, is using this new bench as much as I possibly can, tailoring my training slightly toward, just ever so slightly towards that, more so than before. Implementing things like progressive overload, you know, the, the standard things, they're going to be in there too, of course, right, that's just a standard. Um, and I'm excited to see the results, guys, because it's been a while since I hit a massive bench PB. It's been a while since I've done any kind of massive milestone with my bench press. And so I feel like I need a goal in my head. I, not necessarily a number. Like with my shoulder press, I have a number in mind. I don't necessarily want a number in mind. I just want progression, daily progression one way or another, whether that be losing weight, increasing the bench, increasing the, the, the you know, I'm just rambling now, but you get the point. Over the next few months, the bench will be increasing. The chest gains will be increasing. Thanks to this bad boy. So, if you have enjoyed the video, guys, please do me a favor, drop it a like, Comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and turn on that notification bell, because apparently, oh god, that is a massive freaking deal on this YouTube thing, you know. See, I've actually narrowed my grip there, just subconscious. That's what I've got to do, I've got to retrain those neural pathways, those motor neural pathways, motor units, or all that crap. Science, you know? Looking forward to changing things up a little bit. Looking forward to seeing some progression that I haven't seen before because you guys know that that is key. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this one. It was kind of an incognito video. Incognito is the wrong word. Spontaneous. It was a spontaneous video. I wasn't actually going to film today, but then I was just like, hey, I got my new bench. Why the hell am I not going to film this? And then this video just kind of came out of it. So I hope you have enjoyed it. Drop a like if you have. Comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. I've said that twice now. Together, we will grow. Thank you so much for your endless support. You guys have been supporting through the roof lately. I freaking love every single one of you. You. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. I'll take that.